Hey, good afternoon, guys. Uh, got another little hot rod here that we just finished up. Want to want to give you a peek at it? It's uh, from my buddy Sandeep. Uh, just got to put that on the dash still. That's the last touch, and we're done. But just another gorgeous 2022 389 Peterbilt in probably my favorite color orange. Um, it's a metallic. It's got a real light metallic to it. Just uh, it's kind of hard to see. Nonetheless, ju just a really gorgeous color. Dual 150 tanks, all squared up on the rear like they should be. You know, you can see they're perfectly parallel from each other. Def tank to the rear. Truck's 280 inch wheelbase sitting on low pro 24s Peterbilt oval wheels level one polished did the uh, Peterbilt flaps with the chrome tips low low air leaf suspension disc brakes all the way around and uh, for some of you guys still if you haven't driven a disc brake truck It's life changing. You won't, you won't drive anything else. Um, the money's not a uh, you know the drum price versus the disc price not enough to matter, uh, and the maintenance is zero. Very common to see 700 plus out of a set of pads. Uh, you don't even need rotors then. So uh, uh, not to mention the couple days of downtime you'll save never putting the brakes on it. But again, low low air leaf suspension, all bolted components, no hucks. 36 inch air slide, Holland FW 35, kind of, um, and just so you know, these, this section, this 36 inch section, when you're ordering a truck, you can put it forward, back, you can kind of do whatever you want. So, uh, something to think about. Hodge built, factory, 30 inch, high polish, stainless quarter fenders. Again, being a 280, no frame insert. Did the short style California fairings. Locking caps. Underglow LED lights on all the all the Phoenix drop panels. With with the, the height of this new cap. Uh, if, if the def tank is under the sleeper, you have to do a four inch panel because you can't get the cap off. So uh, one of the advantages of putting the def tank to the rear, besides having squared up nice, even looking tanks like they should be, you can still do a six inch panel. Dynaflex eight inch. Talk about something hard to get a hold of right now, like everything else in America. Dynaflex, I mean, I've got, I hate to even know how many sets I've got on back order right now. Very hard to get, but a little bit of planning and manipulating, we ended up with this set. Smooth panels on the boxes. Blind mounted and chopped the air cleaners. I think the decision for the matching stainless panels back here was a great call. Uh, that way this whole little area is just all stainless when then with the melon lights on the front excellent look excellent aftermarket LED turn signals of course aftermarket visor nine clear LED lights on the top 20 inch blind mount bumper same as the turn signals on the mirror got these mounted down on the bumper polished grill and surround added four more grill bars and uh, uh, three from the factory you add four you get the seven got the dump switch on the uh, front axle air ride Hidden mounts on the hood hinges. 
keeps all that area just super clean. Of course, the Moto brand mirrors. Put the tri pack on it with the uh, polish package on it too. I think that looks real good. The polish tank, the polish box, the polish quarters, nice flow. Everything looks real nice. Of course, when we, when we mount this here, you keep the back all clean. You don't have to drill into the back of your new sleeper. Bridgestones all the way around. Platinum interior. Black Atlas seats. One of the last of our uh, full gauge packages. It's, uh, here we are at the end of July. It's just a couple more weeks and everything off the line will have the new dash in it. I'll show you guys all that once we get it. The platinum interior, aftermarket steering wheel. Raise everything back up. Full cabinet package. Single bed. Workstation with the slide out desk. Black seats, black carpet. Of course, it's got the fridge. Cubbies all around the top, just standard. There's all your controls, plus your, plus your Thermal King controls, standard closet. See where we uh, painted the inside of the visor. Under the hood, I didn't even really talk about it, 605 2050 torque, 18 speed transmission. Uh, really nothing this rig's missing, it's uh, turned out excellent. Super happy for the opportunity. Uh, glad Matt and I were able to able to get this done. It's kind of a partnership project. But if you guys have any questions, uh, it's a crazy time. Uh, no new trucks, no used trucks. Uh, I still have to, I still have a couple hundred build slots for my store this year, and today's the twenty. that in mind if I can help you with anything 918-808-5638 best way to text me that's the easiest way uh, you can always shoot me an email to info at peterbillsteve.com uh, glad to answer that way but if I can help you just let me know and as always I appreciate you guys watching we'll see you on the next one